Time to recognize our 2017 recipients with their awards. Serving recipient of the evening, um, and I'm gonna, have a, I'm gonna struggle with this name because this is a very difficult name to pronounce. Uh, I, I believe if I'm pronouncing it right, it is Ron Scott. <laughs> If you were naming forever buffs who live and breathe CU, you'd have to include Ron Scott. CU has been part of his identity for more than 50 years, and he lets you know it. One common theme for Ron throughout his life is carrying the CU torch at all times, whether he is working, volunteering, or doing errands on a weekend, said a colleague. Ron came to CU as part of football coach Eddie Crowder's first freshman class. He was a star of the field and started three seasons as middle guard. He returned to his alma mater in the 80s and served as the Buff Club's development director and as assistant athletic director, helping to raise $14 million for the Dow Ward Athletic Center. Since then, he's seen at virtually every CU event and activity and establishes meaningful conversation beyond the world of sports. Ron is a true CU steward. As a former teammate sums things up, to many of us, Ron is CU. A big part of Ron's life is his family, including his wife Anne, two brothers, son Lance, and daughter Carrie, and six grandchildren. First, let me thank the people that made this wonderful recognition a reality. My nominators, Scott Shifley and Kurt Goldbrand. Kurt Goldbrand is unable to be with us here tonight. But Scott, I know all that you did, and I especially appreciate all your efforts. And I know it comes from the heart. You're a good friend and a good colleague, and I thank you, thank you very much for all you did. Another colleague that has been very helpful since the selections was made is Marcus Pallas. And Marcus, thank you for all you've done there as well. Next, I'd like to thank the, those that wrote letters on my behalf. Athletic Director Rick George, Regent Emeritus Steve Bosley, Wyoming banker and developer Homer Scott, retired Denver businessman Dick Stevenson, and close friend and former teammate Kyle Morgan. I especially appreciate Kyle and Judy as they have flown in from Danville, California to be here with us tonight for this recognition. All five of these gentlemen are, have, been great, have been great buffs and have been involved for decades after decades. My love affair for CU started 55 years ago when I was offered a scholarship to play for the Buffs. Little did I know then what a factor CU would be, become in my life. Throughout my years at CU, as a student, an alum, a parent, a donor, and a CU employee, I have learned the critical role of the Alumni Association and all the opportunities it offers alumni around the world. Forever Buffs is much more than a catchy slogan. It's a reality. Ryan, you and your staff are doing a great job. Many friends are here in the audience tonight and a very, very special welcome and thank you for, for all you've done, especially during this last year. But there's nothing more important than family and some of them are with us tonight. And I'd like to recognize my brother Brad, my daughter Carrie and her husband Lance, my son, Lance, who just flew in from South Carolina and barely made it. And my wife, Anne. Anne plays a huge role in all of this and should be recognized equally. CU is not, is not just a part of our life. It is our life. We are CU. I'm humbled and honored by this recognition and proud to be among such a distinguished group of award winners. Thank you and go Buffs.